So one of my projects this Halloween is to repurpose these old ugly ghosts that I have. But the beautiful part about these ghosts is that they come, if I can get under here, they come with these little like styrofoam little arms, almost like little hangers sticking out. So I love that they have these little arms in them. I just went thrifting and I found a really great white king sheet. So I'm super excited because that's cheap fabric. And I'm just gonna cover these with the sheet and then make some cute felt eyes. Obviously I'm gonna cover up these faces. Don't forget to iron the sheets. I glued on felt eyes. I just love how they blow in the wind on the porch. For our pumpkin garland, I bought rope and ribbon at the Dollar Tree. I'm finding the middle and laying down a pattern with various fabric pumpkins I have left over from years past. It was so nice to use all of the pumpkins I've been collecting and just have sitting around. Another fun thing to add texture is you could weave in a garland of fall leaves within the pumpkins as well. Once you get the pattern you want, zip tie the ribbon, the rope, and the gauze all to the pumpkin stems. Plan to cover up the zip ties with strips of fabric tied on. This is a nice display that can kind of move forward into your Thanksgiving displays. There's a tutorial for this fall wreath up on my channel. I will link it below. Here's the easiest and cheapest boho Halloween arrangement idea for you. Go to a 99 cent store, get these dried floral bouquets, $2 each, and bat floral stems. Grab a cute container from home, stuff it with tissue, cut the bouquets free, and fluff. Voila! You have the cutest boho arrangement for Halloween decor. Every year we do a Halloween advent calendar. I find it is exciting to spread out the fun each day with little fall treats, trinkets, and darling homemade miniatures for my little one. This was such a simple advent with brown paper bag sacks, hand painted with quick little ghosts, and detailed with a Sharpie. Some were more special than others. I plan to reuse these each year. I put lots of vouchers and, and experience cards inside, not just treats and things. Another fave boo treat was our boo bananas. I cut a banana in half and put it on a stick, cover it with yogurt, chocolate chip features and sprinkles, and freeze. It's such a fun after school snack. And we also had a Halloween s'more kit in one of the advent baggies. and we took it on one of our special campouts. Having ghosts and pumpkin marshmallows and Reese's Pieces for the chocolate made a really fun s'more change up for sure. So now that we have this arrangement made, this cute country tin and this cute country pitcher, I want this to be front and focal on my mantle. Love it. 
Thanks for decorating with me. Be sure to subscribe. I really hope you're able to make some of your Halloween old decor new again. See you next time. Bye-bye.